And when you try to research the Bible about the subject of communication, you find yourself tri tri tripping over this word, the tongue. The power of the tongue can destroy a marriage or it can blossom a marriage. The Bible's trying to say, if anything Christianity is supposed to help, it's you and your tongue. Hold back this beast that lives in my mouth. Hold on there, tongue. Do you have a beast? How many of you have a beast? The Bible says the tongue is a little member. The tongue is little. Can you name anything else that could do more damage or more good than a tongue? I don't know anything. My fist can't. Nothing I have. Jesus has penetrating words for every one of us who would take this issue of tongue a little bit too lightly. The Bible pictures the tongue in James very, very interestingly, doesn't it? And James goes further and describes the power of a tongue. Has anybody ever unleashed their serpent tongue at you and you died inside? How many of you have died inside? How many of you were dead inside and you bumped into somebody who had the power of the tongue? And the How powerful is it? The tongue sets on fire the course of nature. The tongue. What? What was that? What causes the fire out of my tongue is down deep inside I got sin in my heart. The way that I grieve the spirit primarily in context is by what I do with my tongue. It's what I do with my tongue. And if I got the sin out of my heart, my mouth would be fine. Hey, I'm number one. <laughs> There's men in the back. <laughs> oh.